fun continues this morning. Coming up shortly, our three favourite awkwardly funny brother bears continue their attempt to fit into human civilization in We Bear Bears. Then we continue fighting crime and saving the universe in Justice League Unlimited. Then we've got intergalactic mayhem in Ben 10 Omniverse. And finally, our favourite cape crusader fights crime in Gotham City. It's Batman the Brave and the Bold. Kids WB Sundays on Go Kids. Now, Croft, you and I think we're pretty fast on our neon street rollers, right? Like, we go down the street like... <laughs> we sound effects think. Milk. We know we're fast. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, especially with that sound effect. <laughs> but someone who is much faster than us when he gets on the road... Oh, you're talking about Michael Caruso. I am. He is a supercars driver. Yes. He races for Nissan Motorsport. He does. He, he does an amazing job. He's got two little girls that watch his show as well, so let's get him out here. Please welcome Michael Caruso! Michael. Hey. hey, Michael! Yay! Yeah. Oh, hey. we welcome to Kids WB! We're yes. so excited yes. to have you here. I love watching motorsport. I love watching cars drive fast. All right, I'm going to test you, Lauren. Oh, what yeah. What number does Michael have on his car? Mate, 23. All of the greats have 23. <laughs> That's true, but how did you it? get well, into racing supercars? I started uh, when I was 12 years old and I started go-karting. Could so... you even reach... Oh, go-kart. I was going to say you wouldn't reach the pedals at 12. Well, no, because I was a little kid, but uh, my dad bought me a go-kart for my first birthday and the rest is history. That now, is so cool. For your first it... birthday? Well, sorry. That actually spot on. That was my 12th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> now, is it true that the reason you are a supercar uh, driver is because your last name is Car Russo? So, Michael Caruso, so that is the profession that you haven't chosen, it's actually chosen oh, you because of your name. Your yes, and it's like Lauren. Lauren yeah. is Phillips, and you get a Phillips screwdriver, and that is why she oh, yeah. will eventually go on and make screwdrivers. Be a builder. So, well, is that why? It's destiny, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. That's how it's <laughs> well, is anyone in your family into motorsport or driving um, or racing? My dad used to race when, uh, obviously, when he was a lot younger, so. Um, yeah, I was pretty fortunate. He gave up his uh, his dream so I could live mine. Oh, that's How so cool good. That? And uh, you're obviously a very good driver, but motorsport can be quite dangerous. Do you ever get scared out there racing? How fast do you go? Uh, I used to. I guess when I was a little kid, you, I guess you'd get used to it. But I guess the adrenaline and, and how much fun it is, is um, you know, is why I do it. And, you know, I get to live my dream job every single day. And yeah, the cars are pretty you're... safe now, aren't they? Yeah, the cars are really safe. So I mean, that, it's not like just jumping in mum and dad's car, getting in and going for a drive and you've got your seatbelt on. There's a lot more to it in terms of safety features. Well, number, the first thing is we all go in the exact same direction. So, oh, that's you know, good. that's the first thing you don't have to worry about. Clearly, um, yeah, we have to wear all special safety gear. We've got race suits, helmets, uh, roll bar cage in the car. So cars are extremely safe and uh, and that's why we keep it on the racetrack. Yes. And it's a big team that puts um, a, a motorsport team together, isn't it? So yeah. there's a lot of teamwork behind the scenes with mechanics, people who are putting the tyres on, um, people who are monitoring where you are from a position point of view. So can you tell us a little bit about the team that's behind you? Well, there's four cars in our race team and uh, and we have 65 people in the whole Whoa. factory. And have you got the so. only female in supercars racing in your team as well? Yes, yeah, she's my teammate, oh, Simona, that. so uh, it's pretty ladies. cool. She, uh, I want to grow my hair so she can braid it. Oh, so like mine! Yeah, <laughs> we there could we be go. twins. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so it is really cool. Um, yeah, my two little daughters are pretty, you know, excited that uh, we got teammates. And what are their school. names? We should say hello to them because oh, they watch Lola the show. Lola and Mila, hello. Oh, hello. Girls. Dad's pretty cool. Yes. <laughs> now Lauren actually raced in the Australian Grand Prix, and uh, she did oh. a wonderful job. She, in her very first try, out of twenty-three, was it twenty-three? Um, That's the number. She came twenty. Three. <laughs> I actually had three seconds because one person didn't finish and oh. the safety car was behind me, so technically I didn't come last. <laughs> well. But my problem was that we trained on these beautiful sunny days and then when it got to racing, it started raining and I just, I got too scared. And I think your problem was the accelerator, not the brake. I think <laughs> you need to go forward, not necessarily stop. I was so safety I was... first and your speed first and safety though. Uh, how fast do you get on the track? Uh, we go 300 kilometres an hour, so that's at our, I guess, our most favourite circuit at Bathurst, Mount Panorama. Wowie, and, uh, that's fast. pretty fast. And you need to, as you're coming into the corners, they always have like 100 metres to go, 200 metres to go and so forth. That's really important, isn't it? Because you really need to make sure the timing's perfect coming into the corners. Is that yeah, right? I mean, I guess it gives you an indication of when to break. So um, as you approach those signs, you sort of use them as, as what we call a braking marker. and. 
sand on the brakes and then quickly get back and on the accelerator. And how long does a race go for generally? How long are you driving around in circles for? Uh, it's normally two hours. Is a That's a lot. Run, I've been so. on a lot of road trips and I have to make a lot of bathroom stops in two hours. <laughs> what happens if you're like, there's no, Mum, are we there yet? We need to stop. Well, firstly, you can't stop because if you stop, no. you're out of the race. But secondly, if uh, so you, couldn't drink you don't really want to do it in your seat either because then you're going to have to sit in it for the rest oh. of the race. So. I, I, I think you just go. <laughs> like, if you've got to go, you've got to go because you've got to try and win the race. <laughs> so, sure, you feel a bit uncomfortable, but imagine the feeling of winning the race. And then standing up. And with then it. standing up with yeah, it. Nah. And then you go, okay. I, I reckon that's enough on that. And we've got a bit of a game for you because um, I've been oh, yes. in Shane's car when he drives and he pulls some pretty funky facial expressions while he's there driving. Go, so oh, I thought we could wow. simulate Which some... Which one, Lauren? I'll have blue, thanks. Okay, there you go. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Which oh, way does sorry. it go? That way, obviously, very um, experienced driver. Like a big we could <laughs> simulate some, some moments in the race. So All we right, want to know what face sure. you pull when you're driving at 300 kilometres an hour. And Crop, you can do what face you'd pull to. Sure. I reckon right. I'd be like this. What, what, what face do you pull when you're going that fast? I reckon I have my eyes shut. Full on concentration? Yep. Oh, tongue oh, out. Tongue out. Oh, tongue out. And is that in the direction you're turning? Are you like this? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what face would you pull? Well, I reckon you might have the same face for the next one. All at the same time, the face you would pull if you're about to crash. One, two, three. <laughs> and what about uh -oh. the face oh, that you do, that you would pull if you're heading towards the finish line yes. and you're coming second by that much? Right. Oh, get in front, get in front. And heading toward the finish line in first place. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. And the fact that you were pulled, one. If you saw a chicken. <laughs> Sorry, got carried away. The face you'd pull if you saw a chicken crossing the road in front of you. I think I'd be like this. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Well, if you would like to see Michael Caruso's face for real when he actually races in the Supercars, the Supercars Championship is happening now. You can go to supercars.com.au. Your next few races are in New South Wales and Queensland. So jump on the website for all of the information on where you can see them. Yeah, get behind the wheel. Here's your chance to go driving. <laughs> <laughs> what even are you doing? I don't know. I just thought I'd give the boys and girls a chance to drive. <laughs> For themselves. Like <laughs> Alright guys, stick around. Always We've got more fun with Michael coming your way after the break. We'd love you to join us in a bit of a challenge and also to help celebrate some of the kids' birthdays if you wouldn't mind. Love to do it. Great news for right now. It is time for We Bear Bears and it begins after the break. Come on, Lauren, you last again. <laughs> kids WB will be rolling in a heap of fun after school. We sure will. Thanks to our sponsors at Head Start, we'll be skating around on our awesome neon street rollers all week. And I'll put on a groovy neon street roller disco to celebrate. Plus, we'll shout out a big happy birthday to you all. And you'll learn all laugh with my Fact or Funny machine. Be sure to watch Kids WB weekdays, 4 to 5pm on Go Kids. It's gonna be groovy.